Hello everybody and thank you for joining me and today we're going to be talking about using the GeoTab Drive application as the driver. So what the driver needs to do. So we've already logged in and you can see we're on our main screen, our dashboard here. And the first tab we're going to take a look at is our HOS tab. So it lets me know what status I'm currently on, which in this case is off. So when I open it up, you can have some information here. So I can change my status by clicking on the other statuses off, so you work driving on, etc. And down here, it lets me know um, what rule set I'm currently driving under, how long I have to drive until I need my rest, how much driving time I left ha have left today, how much work time I have left today, and how much time I have left in my cycle before I need to um, reset, to take my day and a half, two days off. Okay, so um, the, the statuses will change. Um, you have to do it manually, except for two occasions. So if you're on any other status besides drive and you start driving, the system will determine, oh, look, you're driving and will automatically put you in the drive status and vice versa. So if you're um, driving and you stop for more than 10 minutes or you've um, or you turned off the ignition, the system will be like, OK, you're not you're no longer driving and it'll take you off or sorry, it'll put you back to on duty. So that does mean you'll need to manually put yourself on to drive or sorry, on to off duty when you're you know, taking your break or you're done for the day. OK, so that's our status tab. Moving over to our logs. This is where we can just go ahead and view our logs. So I can view it in graph format up here, and I can view it in um, list format here, where I can see um, what's been going on. And in accordance with FMCSA regulations and rules, we can go back up to 14 days, so two weeks. You can see I can't go back any further. So um, that's as long as, that, that, that's how many days the um, officer is allowed to ask for your logs. So when you transfer your logs, you only get those 14 days. So that's our HOS and status tab. Oh, and you also notice that this counts down in real time. So generally what I've noticed is drivers leave the screen up and put the tablet kind of on their dashboard. That way they can take a sneak peek to see um, how they're doing in terms of time. Let them know, you know, how much drive time I have left today or when do I take, need to take my 30 minute break. All right, and to get back to the main page, we simply need to click dashboard and it brings us here. So looking, we can see my status has now changed. I'm now on drive and DVIR. So if I needed to do a um, DVIR inspection halfway through my shift, I can do so here by clicking on DVIR and selecting whether I want to certify the, um, the vehicle I'm currently driving or the trailer. Okay, and we've already covered that in another video, so I'm not gonna go through it again. Okay, and messages. If you were to receive a message from Geotab, sorry, from um, my Geotab, from maybe your uh, fleet manager or whatnot, it'd be show up here, in here. As you can see, I don't have any messages. Okay, and we're scrolling down here. We have um, the current vehicle I'm logged into, which in this case is this Prius. And I can go ahead and swap my vehicle. So I can click on this, and I can disassociate myself from the current vehicle by clicking on this X, and then I can go ahead and log into a new vehicle. And I'll just go ahead and select the vehicle I was already um, logged into. And go through all this again. Skip, skip, and now we're back. And I would have logged into a new vehicle. And down here we have our settings menu. This is all just some information about what's going on. Um, check for updates. This doesn't actually update the application. It just synchronizes data between the application and the, the MyGeotab database. Uh, change password, self-explanatory. Send feedback, provide a brief description or problem or feature request. So this is used, um, don't use this for a problem. If you're actually experiencing a problem, please contact your fleet manager or contact us directly over here at support so we can help you. This is more for um, small like UI bugs, like incorrect colors, spelling, what have you. And down here, we just have some driver information letting you know um, who, who's currently logged in and what's going on. Okay, and the last thing we need to talk about is inspection mode, which is all the way down here. This is how you transfer your logs to an officer um, when you get pulled over um, or go into a way station, what have you. So we click on inspection mode and then you can um, go ahead and hand a tablet, phone, whatever you're using this on over to the, the, um, the officer. And if you want, you can enter a pin. That way the pin has to be re-entered in order to exit inspection mode. So I'll go ahead and enter a pin click confirm pin and now the officer has the law er, the um uh the tablet and all they have to do is either click email or web services depending on whichever one they use and that's all they'll have to do the logs will be transferred and you'll be good to go and to exit it's just a simple matter of clicking on exit and entering the pin again if you've entered a pin 
and now we're back here. And that's basically it for using um, the drive app, the uh, GeoTab drive app. So thank you for joining me, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.